Hey, now, fire police are following leads on this shooting, but at this point, no arrests have been made. They add that shootings like this one are a reminder of how gang violence can drastically change someone's life, even if they're an innocent bystander. The shooting happened back on May 21st on the 500 block of West Clark Street in Far. A man standing outside that home was gunned down by a suspect in a black SUV. The suspect reportedly shouted La Bomba as he shot the victim seven times. The victim survived the shooting after undergoing surgery. He was lucky to be alive because he had a gunshot to, you know, to his, I guess his, almost to his heart, but the, the, the shot didn't go through, it just stayed there. The victim is now out of the hospital, still recovering from the surgery. He has no gang ties and doesn't know why he was targeted. You know, we've been outside so many times and then, you know, makes you wonder like, are we safe here? You know, are, can we even be outside? you know, especially at night. The shooting is just one of many gang related crimes committed this summer. Last week, a man wanted in the murder of an Edinburgh man shot at police during a standoff in La Jolla. And right now, McCallum police are searching for a suspect with gang ties to the Chicano Brotherhood. He is allegedly responsible for the murder of a McCallum man found dead in a burning truck last week. And I just got off the phone with Fire Police about three hours ago. They're asking the public's help in solving this gang-related shooting. If you have information, call Fire Crime Stoppers. In the Hidalgo County Newsroom, Nadia Glendo, Action 4 News.